Hello there, welcome back. Another two beers from Beer 52, the Belgian case. First one we've got from Rodenbach Brewery. Rodenbach Fruitage. I think that's got some cherry in it. What does it say in the book? Uh, maybe I should have had it to the page. Yeah, the fruitage. Say three point nine percent. Oh, enjoy with ice cubes, a slice of lime and mint. Style: Flemish, Flemish red brown ale with red fruit. Tasting notes: a delicious, refreshing fruit ale with a moderate amount of alcohol. No, with a moderate alcohol content. <laughs> Made from young ale, two-year-old cask-matured cask matured ale, and 9% red fruits. I should have put my teeth in. This balanced fruit ale is fruity and sweet and sour. The ideal introduction before moving on to discover the more mature Rodenbach ales, or just a delicious way to quench your thirst. Very nice. And I also have a stout from Brasserie de la Seine. Stouterique. The Brussels Stout. And that is... The taste is a 5% Brussels Dry Stout. And the tasting notes, Stouterique is a classic dry stout according to the Irish tradition. Easy to drink, but with a well-marked character. Its colour is deep black with ruby reflections. Roasted notes define its personality. Balanced in the mouth by a touch of coffee and a velvety tone. A discreet, refined bitterness completes its structure with a dry and surprisingly refreshing finale. That sounds quite a complicated beer, doesn't it? So, what we'll do, what have we got one on top? I've got the, the Stouterick on top, so we'll go with that one. Put that to one side. I do have a new glass this morning. It just arrived in the post. It's a, a La Trappe. I've not had any La Trappe. Not for years anyway. A wee chalice type glass. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to try that, whether it's appropriate or not for a, a stout. Here goes anyway. I don't want to break it on the first day. Oh, plenty of smoke off of that. Like somebody's just fired a gun. Let's have a wee look to see. Oh, that is dark. I think this might just be a 25 centiliter glass. Oh my word, that's dark, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a wee look to see if I'm getting any of the ruby red tones. <laughs> Not really. I'm getting just dark. Oh, that smells gorgeous. That's fruity. Fruitier than I thought it would be. Cheers, my dears. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. I do like stout. So, that's got your classic... Uh, treacly flavour, slight f treacle flavour, like the old bottled Guinness, but much nicer. What does it say on the tasting notes? Right, well, let's go for the colour first of all. That is just very dark. There is a slight brownie red hint, 
the the head is what half a finger now of like a light to brown malty brown foam it's a mousse like texture anyway on to the color it must be a 40 plus yeah yeah round about that mark the clarity is well I think it's clear. I can't see it's opaque, isn't it? So, the clarity, I'm just going to write in opaque. Colour of foam and head retention, yeah, pretty good. And it is like a mousse like. So, it's good, more than 60 seconds, foam texture, mousse like, carbonation. None that I can see. I don't know if that can... There's none. No visual carbonation, anyway. The alcohol aroma. I'm not really getting much alcohol. No of the aroma. The hops. I have no idea. I'm definitely getting the toffee notes. But that's not the hops, I don't think. What does it say in the, the notes for that? Yeah, dry stout, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I, I'm not really... I can't, I can't really define any hoppy flavours. Any hoppy smells. That's probably just me, but I'll put in none. The malt, yeah, I'm getting the caramel. The uh, there's there's a bit of coffee there as well and chocolate. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, the esters. Maybe plum or. Yeah, raisin maybe. The phenol. Not a great deal. Maybe smoke slightly smoky, but not a great deal. The flavour and aftertaste, alcohol, not really detectable. You can just take big gulps of that. hop flavour I wonder if it's slightly herbal there or maybe even floral the hop bitterness is it's moderate the malt flavour yes it's caramel it's, it's pruny, it's roast it's chocolate, it's coffee it's gorgeous the malt sweetness is a medium sweetness there is this sugary caramel uh, astringency is low astringency. The body, yes, it's mouth coating. It's utterly gorgeous. Palate carbonation is fairly low. The length, it's a long finish. I shall be tasting that tomorrow morning. Uh, oxidative aged qualities, I'm just going to put fresh in there, I, I'm not going to judge on that. The balance and drinkability is desirable. Style, appropriate. It's a stout. It is absolutely lovely. I wonder if we've got... And they've got the, a wee wheel, wheel of taste. I'll, I might put a scan of that in. I think I might have to ask permission from Beer52 for that. I've done it in my last video and I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. Yeah, it's got a uh, four on the malty. Yeah, definitely. Three on the hoppy, three on the bitter, three on the smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. One on the floral. Yeah. So, uh, sour, sweet, fruit, zero. 
So it's very nice. I think this is the first stout I've reviewed. I reviewed a porter the other week there. But I do like stout anyway, so... Oh yeah, I'm getting that bit of fruity caramel. Yeah, that is still with me. I think I'm going to have to have a drink of water before I do the next one. Just to clear the palate. I've got my filtered water. I just... Uh, it's a two litre, just over two litre bottle. I fill it every day and try and drink that every day. Yeah, that's... That definitely lingers on the par like that. So.